So, hi guys and welcome back to another landscape photography vlog, even though it's not a landscape photography vlog. Um, this is obviously going to be a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to show you some of my favourite images that I've taken, um, images that you might not have seen me vlog or images that I had taken before I started vlogging. So it's going to be like a little top 10 really, I put them in, a, in an order. I'm still not sold on the order, but it's a rough order of my favourite images that I've taken that you probably haven't seen. Um, and you will have seen some of them as well on the uh, some of the vlogs I've done. So first of all, I'm going to show you a couple of images before I start the top 10 that are my first images, like my first image ever that I took uh, with my granddad when I was little. That was my first landscape shot ever, I think, that I can remember of anyway, and I've got that here on a frame. And the other shot is the first image that I took using a DSLR when I sort of got into photography um, in general and started with sort of astro photography and my sort of take on, on that, which isn't great. <laughs> So the first image is the one that I took with my granddad when I was probably about nine, no, seven, six maybe. So we went for a walk, hopefully you can see that okay, um, in Abney Hall. And yeah, that's my first ever landscape photography image um, that I took. That was on his camera, like I say, about six. I say that's, I was about six or seven, um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show you that uh, just because I remembered I had it in the loft, so I just had a little route round and I found it. But anyway, my first uh, landscape photography image that I ever took when I sort of got interested in, into photography was this one here, and I'll put that on the screen for you to have a look at. And it's it's in the dark, it's slightly out of focus and overall it's not, not a bad composition I suppose considering it's my first ever shot but yeah um, that's my first shot let me know what you think um, moving on to the top 10 so the first image in number 10 is this one here uh, this was a image that I took in the Lake District, which I did actually vlog, um, so you can actually head over to that video if you'd like to see that. Um, this was one of 10 images I actually exhibited, and that's the reason I've put this in the video today. Um, because, yeah, it was my first ever exhibition. It was at my university. I still have them images lying around somewhere. Um, but yeah, it's sort of a, in there just because it's got a a little place in my heart for it being my first exhibited piece. So that's number 10. Moving on to number 9 is this image. Again, um, I think I did vlog this, this image, but I think it was at the end of the video because it started raining quite heavily so I had to try and protect the lens and I didn't actually film myself getting this image. So. This image is obviously in autumn, in sort of peak autumn, and I really sort of like the composition of it. I think it sort of flows through the image quite well. You've got these sort of really nice autumn leaves in the foreground, and these nice black rocks with the sort of wispy whites of the water as it cascades down the rocks as well. And then that just leads up again into this lovely tree that's got these yellows and oranges that I just think are really, really nice. And then far, further on from the tree, you've got this nice stone bridge. And I think just overall, it's just a really pleasing image to look at. Um, so that's why I put that one in at number nine. So number eight, I've put this image here, and this was in the Snowdon area. Um, I can't remember the name of the waterfall that it is, but I think it's just framed really nicely. You've got the sort of nice vibrant yellow tree in the center of the image which is obviously the focal point and then you've got this lovely sort of arc of trees just sort of reaching out over the top of it uh, it's almost like a frame and then obviously behind it you've got the 
the contrasting waters cascading down and then that lovely diagonal cut that I love across the bottom, the bottom third of the image. Um, so yeah, this is a really a personal favourite of mine, this one. Um, let me know what you think of this one, because this one I was sort of, shall I put this one in, shall I not, shall I? So yeah, I, I decided to put it in because I personally do like the image and how it's framed and things. So number seven, this shot was taken in the Lake District and this was the first time I'd actually ever been to the Lake District to take any landscape photos. So I was extremely lucky. I actually met another photographer at this spot and he said, you know, you're extremely lucky to get these conditions for this image um, because he said, I think he said he'd been coming there for a few years and he's finally got the sun sort of peaking just above the fell in the background. But yeah, I put this one in uh, number seven just because the conditions, it was the first time in the lakes, um, it was just it was just absolutely stunning morning. It was still quiet. Uh, compositionally, I really like it as well, how you've got the reeds in the foreground that sort of uh, swoops around to the left and then into the, the focal point of the image, which is the tree. And then obviously you've got that lovely morning mist coming off the lake with the uh, the sun just just peaking through, catching the, the morning mist as it rises. And I, again, like I really like this image. I put it in at seven just because I know this image has been shot thousands of times, so it's not personal to me. I thought it deserved a place in my top 10 just because compositionally, the conditions, and with it being the first time I'd ever been to the Lake District and my first image in the Lake District, I was extremely happy with the final result. Moving on to six. Now this image that I took in a vlog, this one is in the vlog, in the Peak District. It was a sunrise in the Peak District. And I went to Chrome Hill. Chrome Hill has been uh, photographed quite a lot and is a beautiful area to go and see if you've not been before. So I got the sort of classic standard shot, which a lot of photographers get. And then I wanted to try and get something different, something that I'd not seen before, something that was original, that I thought was original to me. And this is the image that I got, and I just really, really like it. It's sort of these row of trees just catching the first morning light as it comes over the, over the mountain. You've got the valley in the background, it's just got a lot of sunlight hitting it as well. A really nice contrast between the darks uh, and the, the the shadows and the highlights, sorry, just really nice contrast. It's in a one by one crop again, which I just love in landscape photography. And yeah, so I, I had to put that in as um, number six. Number five is an image that I took just at the end of an autumn and all the leaves had sort of dropped onto the floor and I sort of was going to vlog this actually. I remember I was going to go out and vlog this, but I didn't leave myself enough time. Like I literally had about, I'd say about half an hour before sunset. And when I arrived at this location, the sky looked like it would be, you know, it could catch and it could get this amazing light. I didn't think it would be this good. So this is why I have to put this one in at five. The conditions just blew me away. Uh, so here is the shot. You've got these really nice bright orange leaves that have obviously just fallen from, from a tree nearby with the sort of water just sort of receding out at the reservoir with this explosive sky. Um, it literally happened like that. It was sort of a bit boring at the start and then all of a sudden out of nowhere it just absolutely exploded and just got this incredible display of light and I just absolutely adore this image because of that. Um, you know, not thinking that I wasn't going to go out and then, sh you know, should I vlog it, should I not and then I left it too late. I got out and I, I got a good image anyway. Um, so I'm happy with that image. Um, but for me, I just love the, the leaves in the foreground, um, how they sort of match with the sky almost in terms of colour. 
So yeah, I really like that image. Number four is this image here. This was taken in the Peak District. And this image is in this location I've not been to before. And I saw that the conditions were, it was saying sort of misty and foggy. So I gave it, gave it a shot and I went to this location and found this composition, which again, I've not seen before. And I, another reason why I'm putting it so high up my uh, top 10 uh, images. So this is a panoramic image of um, some ancient oak trees with these really nice sort of boulders covered in moss with the autumn leaves still on the ground, just showing a little bit of color. But the reason why I like this image as well is how all these sort of oak trees are sort of leaning over to this golden tree. And I really like it, I feel like it's these hands, you know, these people trying to reach out and grab the gold. And I just think it's a really nice, nicely composed image. I'm really happy with this one. Like I say, it's a panoramic, so it could be blown up quite large. Um, it was a lovely morning in terms of conditions. You had that slightly um, wet mist with this nice soft light just starting to come through. It was all, I, I did think it would be a bit foggier, but in the end it's turned out quite nice and not having that high intensity fog actually works with this image quite well. So the image at number three is this image from Canada. I went to Canada in October 2018 with my girlfriend and we were driving down to, we were driving to Whistler, just past Whistler. And we came across this incredible range of mountains uh, on the motorway or the highway. And it was just so good that we had to stop. We actually drove past it. We then found a place to turn around and then came back. And it was just, it was just amazing to see, you know, the light was great. Um, it was just the perfect mountain in the center of the image. So I had to take this as a panoramic. Um, the thing I would love to change about it, if I could, um, would be the foreground. Uh, the trees that are sort of in the foreground, I find slightly distracting. Um, and I think if you went on a morning where you had mist, maybe in this valley, if that actually happens in this valley, um, you know, I think this image would just be absolutely perfect. But I had to put this in there. I enjoyed my trip to Canada immensely. It was so good. Um, and this was my favorite image that I took throughout my trip in Canada. Um, just absolutely love this image. So moving on to number two, this was an image that I have vlogged actually, not too long ago, I think it was three vlogs ago and this is a woodland shot and I just love the colours, the composition of it. I just really am happy with the whole outcome of this image, you know, the, the intensity of the fog, these two fallen characters that have, that have fallen on the floor here with these autumn leaves that are just so vibrant still on the floor but then the all, all the trees with nothing on them, no leaves just these sort of crooked branches. And I think it's just a really nice image. It's one of my favorites. It was a close one for number one. Um, I just really do like this image um, a lot. But at number one, I put this image. Now this is an image that again, I took in the Lake District and it's a composition again, I've not seen before, um, but when the light burnt, started to burn through the morning mist off the lake and, and it all started rising. It just created this lovely soft light that hit all these trees. And I sort of stumbled across this really. I sort of finished up with the image that you've seen previously and just wandered over to this image, this location, sorry, and found this composition. And it's very, very simple really. There's nothing to it. it was with a long a long lens I think I used my 75 to 300 on my Canon 5D Mark III and the light was just 
it's just awesome. It just broke through this morning mist, cascaded on these on these trees, and just created this lovely soft light um, across the across the landscape. And I just really, really do enjoy looking at this image. And I took this image maybe uh, I'd say about two and a half years, three years ago now, and it's still one of my favourites, if not my favourite. Um, and to be honest, I don't really like saying that this is my favourite image because I do like them all for the, for different reasons. But in terms of showing you guys, I thought a top ten would be a bit more uh, a bit more interesting rather than me just throwing loads of images out at you. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I put in as number one. So thank you very much for watching today's video, guys. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it, it's been a little bit different. Um, I just wanted to show some images that I haven't uh, vlogged or that images that I've taken prior to starting vlogging and things. Um, you can see some more images on my Instagram page which is in the description. Um, if you've enjoyed today's video I'd really appreciate it if you could like it, just because it shows that people are enjoying the videos and I'll make more. Uh, if you want to subscribe as well that would be great. Um, if you if you want to see more content from me and hit the little bell button so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, it's been a little bit different. Um, but thanks again and see you soon. Cheers.